Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the cannot start application error you're getting on your PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So I'm going to show you about three different methods that's going to help you fix this issue. Now, this is going to be related to your content being locked, external hard drive issues, and the last thing will be corrupted data on your PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and go to the home screen here, then go to settings, then go to account management, then go down to restore licenses. And if you bought anything from the PlayStation 4 store, this is going to completely restore your licenses and maybe there's a licensee issue and that's preventing you from starting the application. So go to restore and if you still are getting an error where your content is locked, go to activate as your primary PS4 and just activate this PlayStation 4. Now, if you are having corrupted data on your PlayStation 4, you will want to make sure and check under the storage section on your PS4 settings section. So let's go to storage. And then it may take a couple of minutes just to calculate all the system storage. Then go down to save data. Now find the game or application you're having a problem starting. I'm going to go to Minecraft for this example. Press X. Then if the data is corrupted, you're going to see a large cross right next to it. Go ahead and press options and delete that corrupted data by selecting it and going to delete. And it's going to ask you if you want to delete the selected data. Go to OK. So another thing that you can try to get rid of corrupted data on your PlayStation 4 is holding down the PlayStation button and go down to power and then go to turn off because we're going to start our PlayStation 4 into safe mode and rebuild the database. Now with your PlayStation 4 completely turned off, go ahead and locate the power button, which is the top one, and hold that down for 10 seconds. You'll hear one beep initially, then about 10 seconds later, you'll hear another beep. When you hear that second beep, go ahead and let go, and your PlayStation 4 will now be starting in safe mode. Go ahead and plug in a USB cable to your PlayStation 4, and then plug the other end into your PlayStation 4 controller because you'll need this plugged in to operate the safe mode menu. It does not work in Bluetooth mode. Now go ahead and press the PlayStation button on the controller. And then go down to option number five, rebuild database. Select cross on this. And then go over to OK. Now it says it may take a few hours, but it probably will only take about 10 to 15 minutes in my experience. So it's going to go ahead and restart your PlayStation 4 right away after pressing OK and then it's gonna boot back into an estimated time. So mine says approximately four minutes, it'll be done. So after this, go ahead and go to your application you had a problem with and go ahead and try to start it. Now I did mention external hard drives earlier in the video. If you do have an external hard drive, go ahead and try disconnecting your external hard drive for your PlayStation 4. There could be an issue with the copying from your PlayStation 4 to your external hard drive and that may be the problem why you can't start an application. You can always go ahead and try to transfer the application back to your PlayStation 4 hard drive. Otherwise, delete the application and re-download it from the PlayStation 4 store. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4 tech help videos coming up next on Your 6 Studios.